Okay, so after you've assembled your tailgate, you're gonna go back to the bed that we installed earlier onto the car, so I can show you guys what to do. The tailgate we temporarily have installed on the back of the car. Uh, we showed you how that went together. The last bit before we really start cinching everything down is to check two things. One is, this back corner, there are two holes on the bottom edge of the front tray. There's two holes here. This little stainless fastener I have just put in place. This is threaded into the top bumper mount that's underneath here. You'll see it when you go to put this tray on. There's actually a nut on the other side that's on the car. So there's a threaded insert that's welded to the beetle. And when you install, install this, you're going to put one here and one on the other side, and that locks in the entire rear end of the car up and down and side to side. It's a very, very important bolt right here. Now I just took an eight millimeter and threaded it in partially to make sure we were lined up. Remember all this jiggles still. We haven't tightened anything down. The other thing you're going to do is you're going to prepare for this installation. This is the tray that goes be, you know, between the back edge of the front tray here. This is the support that goes down to the floor. And before you put this tray in, you're going to want to seal this leading edge of the front wall to the floor. So if you were to look into this hole here, this edge right here will leak if you don't put silicone on it. And so you, when you put this whole thing down, you're going to have to reach in there and just take some on your finger and wipe it along and go all the way left to right. Remember, you can reach out here on the side, or if you look in from that side, you can kind of see the seam looking in. And then you're going to want to reach in there and get, let me take this out of the way, this seam right here, you're going to fill all of this in. So I put a little foam in here, and then I use silicone from here all the way to the other side. It really is up to you what you use to seal, but I use GE silicone too. The other thing you're going to do, see this plug right here? So you have a big plug right here, and about six inches in, you'll see this. There was a plastic plug here. That's your drain plug. You're going to pull that plug so that the water that comes in here drains right out over the gas tank. The last thing we're going to do, so after you seal the front wall of the car, that's this wall at the bottom, after you seal that up and rivet that leading edge, that locks in place all of the rest of the panels and we can start tightening down the rest of the panels. Once you're sealed, this is your tray plate. Take a look here. This is a this is a metal bracket that was that used to be here where the seat would mount. So this is your rear seat mount. You'll see how I cut it right at the base with a sawzall. I just removed that. And then the other thing you do is you see these loops? These loops were the pieces that held the rear seat down onto the car. Well, they stick up and they're in the way. So all you do is you take a hammer and just tap them down. They bend very easily. This is the position that you want them to be in when you go to install your rear tray support. And so basically to do that, you stick it under one side, you come up on the other, these holes line up, come on up under the, and then you're gonna rivet or bolt. I choose to bolt right here. Remember, you can reach the back side here, you know, of these mounts. I choose to put a bolt here, a bolt here, and then I rivet and bond the other places. I mean, you could technically reach in here with a bolt, but why, you know, put a couple of rivets here, put a couple of rivets on the outside, a bolt here, a bolt here, and then obviously you're gonna put the bolts through these holes into the tray. And then you're really starting the process of tightening down all of the bolts around the bed. And the one thing you wanna do is align your tailgate first. So when your tailgate is on, and I'll gently close this up, there's only one gap that really matters. And that's this gap here, take a look. From the rear, you're gonna wanna see this gap right here. It's pretty even top to bottom, check over here. You see this, and this one isn't, isn't tightened yet. You wanna get, you get your gap even top to bottom. Remember, this piece is square. This piece needs to be square if we're going to line up the body. So you go right here. Once you put a little skim in here or a little spacer, you can even take one of the bolts, you know, and put it in here just to hold it, right? Hold the gap, hold the gap over there. Then begin tightening your bolts that you drill up front. You can see I have two of them drilled over there. 
And to finish mount this body, these are two flush mount. I put two more fasteners right next to it right here. So I have a total of four fasteners under the rear surround and on the other side the same way. And then I begin tightening all of the little bolts. These are the tray bolts. You can see this is loose. This whole tray went on hand tight. We didn't really tighten up all the bolts until we had it in place. And then once you start tightening, just keep an eye on the gap back here. This is the only gap that really matters. You can adjust it a little bit at the end, but you really wanna have this gap perfect when you tighten all of your braces. Remember this brace, you put this bolt in, but you leave it loose. You put these in, you leave them loose. Once you rough fit the entire box, you start tightening. 